Good morning everybody. Hope you are all healthy and safe at home. Let us continue with our section, section 9.9, .9, Independence of the Path. So in the previous section or lecture, we had discussed about the theorem which relates the concept of independence of path and uh, the value of the line integral was zero for every closed path. Now in this lecture, we are going to do another theorem which will be an helping aid to find whether the given field is conservative or not. So, so far we have done about four theorems. This is the last theorem of this section. And uh, with the help of this theorem, we can check whether the field is conservative. And uh, now using the previous theorems that we had learned in previous lectures, we can see that if the field is conservative, then the integral will be path independent. And moreover, by the last theorem, theorem 9.9.3, we can see that if it is path independent, then the integral over cf dot dr is 0 for every closed path. Right? So, let's see what the statement says. Um, the theorem 9.9.4, it states that, suppose that the field f of x, y is equal to p of x, y, i plus q of x, y, j is a conservative vector field in an open region R and that p and q are continuous and have continuous first partial derivatives in R. Then dou p by dou y is equal to dou q by dou x. Converse is also true that is if dou p by dou y is equal to dou q by dou x for every x comma y in the region uh, simple connected region R then the field f is equal to p i plus q j will be conservative in R. So this is an if and only if statement. Uh, which gives us uh, the idea to check whether the given vector field is conservative or not. So let's go into the proof of this theorem. Uh, we are just doing uh, one half. The rest half is not mentioned in your textbook, and uh, we'll follow. We'll uh, we will follow our syllabus precisely. So let's move on to the proof of the theorem. By assumption let us assume first that f is conservative okay and also the component functions p and q are continuous and they have continuous first partial derivatives continuous first partial derivative so this is an important assumption that we have to keep in our mind now let us see how we can prove the equation that is uh, dou p by dou y should be equal to dou q by dou x right now if f is conservative we can always find a scalar function a scalar function phi such that f is equal to grade phi right now what is grade phi grade phi is nothing but f is equal to grade phi which is equal to do phi by do x i plus do phi by do y j right so this implies p i plus q j is equal to do phi by do x i plus do phi by do y j. So comparing what do we get the terms of i is we get p is equal to do phi by do x and q is equal to do phi by dou y. Now if p is dou phi by dou x, what will be the value of dou p by dou y? It will be dou by dou y of dou phi by dou x which is nothing but dou square phi by dou y dou x. And uh, similarly from here what do, we, what do we get? Dou q by dou x is dou square phi by dou x dou y. Now since p and q have first 
partial derivatives which are continuous both these values will be same which we had seen in the section of partial derivatives so from this what do we get we get our required inequal equality that is dou p by dou y equal to dou u by dou x so if the field is conservative we can easily see that our equality that is dou p by dou y will be equal to dou q by dou x so the converse part uh, we are not uh, going to prove as it is but the converse is also true uh, that is if this equality holds that is dou p by dou y equal to dou q by dou x for every x comma y in r then the field uh, the conservative vector field f uh, f the vector field f will be conservative in r so with this we come to an end of all the theorems of this section and uh, now we can we shall uh, move on to the uh, problems related to the conservative vector field and the independence of path of the line integral so we shall uh, discuss about that in our uh, next lecture so with this we wind up thank you stay home and stay safe